Hello to all my beautiful viewers out there. It's time. I said I was going to do it, so I have to do it. We're going to drip, flip, or skip the upcoming collection between Bape and MCM. Yes, guys. So, famous German leather goods brand MCM is deciding to collaborate with Bape this October 26th, which will be available on, I think it's Zuzu... I'll, I'll put the links in the description. It's Zuzu something, and of course, Bape.com. Of course, Bape.com. Now... What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be drip, flip, or skipping all the pieces coming out in this MCM Bape collaboration. Now, if you don't know what drip, flip, or skip is, obviously the long-time viewers will know, but for anyone else that's new that's watching, and if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're a new watcher, make sure you do that. Scroll down, subscribe to the channel, like the video. What drip, flip, or skip is, it is a rating system first coined by Full Size Run. I thought I'd just mention that just so no one thinks that I'm, you know, stealing without giving props. It is a rating system where I will rate each individual piece from this upcoming collection a rating of either drip, flip, or skip. Drip means I buy it, I love it, I'd wear it, I'd put it in probably a regular rotation of clothing that I'd wear. S flip means... Eh, it's cool. I like it. I might wear it once for like an outfit photo or something, but there's more value in me reselling this piece off than actually keeping it and wearing it myself. And skip, a little bit harsh as we always have to say, but it's necessary. Skip is a nope, would never wear it, not feeling it, not for me. Kind of harsh, but it's more of just like a soft no. That's the rating system we're going to be using on this collection. So without further ado, Let's dive into the collection. Okay, so we should start with the outwear first and we'll slowly work our way through it. So with the outwear, we get a zip-up hoodie. We get a tracksuit zip-up. We get tracksuit pants. And we get a sweater. Let's start off with the hoodie. Now, the hoodie, zip-up hoodie, babe camo all, all over the front of it, but it also incorporates MCM branding inside the babe camo. And instead of the traditional babe camo coloring, it's been given this, I would say orangey, maybe with a little bit of brown as well, in order to give it this like vintage leather look. Love it. Now it's also got MCM and the Bape Head logo down the side of the arms. Very nice touch with gold accessories, including eyelet holes, gold zip by the looks of it as well, and a nice leather little zipper tag there. Ooh! Very luxurious. Look at that hood as well. Sorry, I just have to mention the hood with the MCM um, monogram embossed all over it. Now, this is like the definition of like luxury streetwear. And like, it's going to be ridiculous in price. Can I just say, I've got no idea on what the retail price is going to be. They haven't released any details to us. But oh my god, this is going to be expensive. Like, goddamn. Now, personally, would I wear something like this? It's such a hard call to make because it looks so luxurious and so nice. I feel like I would wear it, but I wouldn't know what to wear it with. Like, ah, uh, like I, I want to drip on it, but like, would I wear it? I don't, well, okay. Let me think. Yeah, I could wear it with a black jacket over the top of it. It would look really nice with a black jacket. It would get the camo to pop underneath. Uh, okay. Whatever the price is, if I had the money, if I was earning a lot of dollars, I'm going to say that the hoodie, that's going to be a drip. I love the, like, the detailing done on it. It really works with both Bape and MCM. They've done a wonderful job incorporating both the brand's iconic logos and styling together into this, like, collection. It's beautiful. It's lovely. So this first hoodie... This is going to be a drip. We're not going to say too much more on it. We all just basically, it's beautiful. I'm going to drip on it. I think I could wear this with like a nice black like jacket or something like that. Now, moving on to the next piece of the outwear, which is a tracksuit jacket. Now, I personally, because this is a personal feeling for me, I like the hoodie more, even though it was a zip up. I hope you noticed that. I actually said I dripped on a zip up hoodie, which is a big surprise. This tracksuit jacket, I'm not feeling as much. I think tracksuit jackets are just a little, they're a little bit too much for me. I don't like the whole ensemble kind of look. It's a bit too much. But we should go over the detailing on it just because it's the collection and just because it's amazing. So the sleeves, the arms, they are incorporated with the Bape MCM logo and lettering down the sides here with also the monogram of MCM all down the arms. Wonderful. 
On the chest, however, we get the Bape Camo with the MCM embossed over the top, well not embossed, sorry, added into over the top of it on the chest as well. With the MCM uh, monogram on the neck line as well, you get a wonderful leather zip with I assume gold detailing. It's going to be gold detailing on everything. Wow. Wonderful. I love the design of it, but I would not wear tracksuit jackets. Now, there's going to be a lot of value in this because heaps of people are going to try and make the collection like, you know, the full get up, the tracksuit, the pants, you know, the whole deal. I would say that the second piece, the tracksuit jacket, it's going to be a flip. I wouldn't wear it myself. It's, it's a nice piece, but as I said, that's the defining characteristic between a drip and a flip is if I would wear it or not. And it's just not hitting that I would wear it mark. And even that hoodie was a bit on iffy on if I would wear it or not, you know? But the jacket, it's a definite no. So it's going to be a flip for me because I would buy it and then resell it because ooh, it's going to have that value. It's going to have a lot of value in this collection. Now, moving on to the next piece, which is the pants. These pants obviously are designed to work with either the hoodie or the tracksuit jacket. Obviously, it works more with the tracksuit jacket because then you've got the full ensemble, right? Now, I would very rarely wear Bape Camo pants. I don't think they make Bape Camo pants in like a 3840, so I doubt that they're going to even come in my size. But regardless, in this imaginary world where it would fit me, let's have a look into it and see how I would feel. So, it's Bape Camo all the way down with the MCM Bape Head logo down the sides of it. Kind of cool. The, the colours are very nice on it. I If I was to pick this up, I would wear it in a... And an outfit that wouldn't incorporate both the sweatshirt, uh, sorry, both the hoodie or the tracksuit and the pants. I would wear these pants with a very basic upper, but like maybe just a black shirt or like a black shirt with like a nice like design on it or something. I don't think I would wear it with like a heavy logo covered upper. You know, I would keep it nice and simple and really make the pants pop. Now, would I wear these pants if they hypothetically came in my size? I don't think I would. I mean, I, I kind of like my pants kind of basic. I'm a little basic with my pants. So this is a little bit too flashy, a little bit too much for me. So I'm going to say that this one's probably going to be a skip. I would. I was almost going to lean on a flip, but I don't think I'd want to deal with trying to buy it and reselling it because selling pants, from what I see, is always really hard because people's pant size differ way more than uh, your upper size. For an example, I could get 10 extra large men that all wear the same XL upper, but I bet you that their pant size is going to be different all the way around because it totally differs in that. If you kind of get what I mean, it's so much easier to sell an XL hoodie than it would an XL pair of pants because someone who wears an XL upper is going to wear like totally different pant sizes. You know, they don't always correlate. So trying to resell these pants would be a little bit difficult so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip on it just because I wouldn't want the drama of trying to resell it now something a little bit different a little bit more toned down for some people that want to like pick up this collection but don't want anything covered in babe camo covered in MCM like logo we've got the sweater in a gray with I think our only uh, little, little Milo um, artwork I think this is the only time Milo makes an appearance but I could be proven wrong, we'll have to look at the other pieces and see. So, Milo makes his little appearance and he is covered in the MCM logoing from head to toe. Very nice. The rest of it, it's just grey. There's nothing else to it. Um, there doesn't seem to be any more photos of the back of it, so I assume the only artwork is on the front. Um, it's a cute little sweater, not gonna lie. It's kind of cool, but I don't think I would pick it up because I couldn't see myself wearing something like this. If I was to wear a grey sweater, it would probably just be like a grey champion one. I don't think I'd want to splash the cash on something this fancy for just a grey sweater. So I think this one is going to be a skip as well. I wouldn't really want to flip it. It kind of seems like a hard item to sell. It's not going to be one of the big items in this collection that's going to sell really well. Um, you may disagree with me. Let me know in the comment section below if you disagree, if you really think this piece is going to pop. But I'm not really feeling it. So we'll skip on that. That seems to be all the outwear. This collection is very shirt heavy and accessory heavy by the looks of it. So that's the outwear that we've got. Let's move on to the shirts and we'll drip flip or skip those. Okay, so now we're on to the shirts. Now, 
I'm kind of disappointed by the shirts, honestly, and I'll explain why. So in the shirts, we're getting multiple different styles. We're getting a style with the Bape Head logo that says MCM by Bathing Ape, right? Now that one comes in multiple colors. It comes in a blue, black, brown, lime green, and hot pink for some reason. Okay, now this is why I'm disappointed in these ones. I don't like any of the colors but the brown one. And the blue, black, lime green, and hot pink kind of just seem like tacky colors they did just because, you know? Like, there's no reason to do it in blue, there's no reason to do it in black, there's no reason to do it in lime green and a hot pink, right? Like, it kind of just seems like they were just like, hmm, let's just pick some random colors and do it. I don't like it. All of those are going to be a skip. The brown one, however, this one feels like it's taking influence from MCM's iconic brown leather coloring that they do for their leather goods right that's why i like the brown one but the blue the black the well it, it looks black it could be a dark navy but it looks black lime green and hot pink where's that coming from i don't know any bape items that are like super influence or like super iconic using those colors i don't know any mcm iconic leather goods that use those colors that you know have inspired this shirt. Do you know what I mean? Like, these colors feel uninspired in this collection and kind of just throw-ins. So I'm not feeling any of those. I don't want to deal with any of those. And I don't think they're going to resell for, like, that much. So the only one that I'm, like, hyper-interested in is the one that feels like it has some influence from both brands, which is this dark brown one that looks like it's inspired by the leather coloring by MCM, as I said. So that one's going to be a drip. The rest, though... Miss me with it. I don't care for it. It's going to be a skip on the rest of the colors. Now, moving on to the next lot of shirts, we've got a black or white shirt with the Ape Head logo covered in the Bathing Ape uh, camo with the MCM scattered inside the Bape uh, camo. As we've discussed from this collection, that seems to be a big theme in this collection. I like this. These shirts feel a lot more justified than those random coloring ones that we saw previously. I like these. I think personally on the white, it pops a lot more. So I think on the white, I'm going to drip on it. If I saw the black one on a person, I don't think like unless I went up close or if I like was just very comfortable in knowing what it was, that I'd know that this is the MCM vape collaboration besides it saying MCM on the bottom. That would be the only way I'd really be able to tell. Well, on the white, it pops. So I think even from a distance, I could be like, oh, that guy's wearing the Bape MCM collaboration shirt. So I feel like the white one is going to be a drip for me, while the black one is going to be more of a flip. Like, there's going to be a lot of resale value in that one particularly, because it incorporates everything to do with both brands. It incorporates MCM as a logo, Bape as a logo, the Bathing Ape head logo, you know. It incorporates the Bape camo, collaborated with MCM, because it's got MCM all over it, in this, like brown tinted coloring that is obviously referencing MCM's leather goods coloring. So, beautiful, beautiful. So, I think, yeah, as I said, white, drip, black, flip, but it's still going to have a lot of value with the black one. Now, moving on to our final set of shirts. We have the Bathing Ape logo with Worldwide written over the top of it and MCM on the bottom with the Bathing Ape, uh, Ape head logo covered in the camo with the MCM. Very nice. These are very nice shirts. Now, the black, same situation. I feel like the black is kind of missing out because of the logo. Although, from the looks of it, like looking at these images, the, the lettering looks like it's covered in like diamonds. Like, I don't know if they're Swarovski diamonds or if they're just like MCM diamonds or something, but it looks like they're studded. So I don't know if it's with diamonds or if they're just studs. Hard to really tell. Um, I think you would have to keep this in very mint condition in order to resell it because if you miss like one of those studs You've lost all your resale value if you know what I mean Like if you have anything ever that's studded as soon as you lose a single stud your resale value has dropped So you have to take very good care of this You're gonna have to make sure the shipping is a plus quality So none of the diamonds or studs or whatever come off in the shipping process. I would say I would, well actually I might flip it around actually, I might go with the black because the lettering looks like it stands out more on the black, but the white is still very nice, so actually I'm, I'm going to change it up, we'll drip on the black, we'll, we'll flip on the white, this incorporates the branding very well of both brands, so I still feel like the white is going to have some value, so I reckon we'll flip on the white one as well. Now, whew, 
a little bit of a breather after talking for so long. We've talked about all the shirts. Now we should move on to like my favorite part of this whole collection, which is the accessories of this collection. This is a very big thing. So let's move on to the accessories and give it the old drip flip or skip. Okay, my favorite part of this collection. Let's move on to it. I'm too excited about this. Okay, so we'll start off with the smaller pieces and then we'll move on to the big kahuna piece. I mean, I think you know what I'm talking about if you've seen the videos of the big piece that I'm excited for, but let's move on. Okay, so to start off with, we got some keychains. We got some MCM Bape keychains. They're kind of cool. They come in black, pink, or the brown. Obviously, the M MCM brown. I'm going to say that I would skip on the black and pink one and pick up the brown one to not essentially use on my keychain, but to clip onto the other accessories of this collection. Now, moving on to the next accessory in this collection, accessory slash shoe, we're getting a Bape MCM slide. Now, this is kind of cool, I suppose. I don't particularly not like it. I would give it a flip. I wouldn't wear it myself. I'm not a huge slides kind of guy. Um, I don't think there's many opportunities where I would wear slides. I'm mainly just, you know, a sneaker guy. I would just wear sneakers. So I think this one's going to be a flip because I reckon it'll have some value. I reckon there's some hype beast suckers out there that would pay a lot of money for Bape Camo MCM slides, you know what I'm saying? So, the next accessory. Now, this is the one that I talked about in the first video, which, you know, maybe if you don't know anything about that, subscribe to the channel and go watch the previous video. I talked about it. I was mainly keen for it, which is the MCM Bape Wallets. Now, one, they've both been coined a large wallet and a small wallet by the, I think it's the Hypebeast article that I'm looking at. I would say that one of them's a wallet for sure, but the other one's more of a coin purse. So we'll talk about the small one first that's been dubbed the small wallet. I would say this one's a coin purse, which some people are huge fans of. They like their coin purses. I'm going to give this one a flip. There's a lot of value there. A lot of people would want it, but I don't use coin purses. I'm more of a card holder kind of guy, more of a wallet kind of guy. So coin purse, like when was the last time someone my age had coins? I, I literally get asked for bus money all the time. I don't have any coins. I don't have any cash on me. Like it's the modern day world of cards and plastic people. Like I don't have cash on me. I just, I, if I could buy an item, it's normally with card is I never buy anything with cash. So the coin purse, not going to be or coin purse or small wallet, not going to be hugely helpful to me. So I would flip it and probably sell it off to some of my mates that are actually keen on it. It might actually have card slots in it, but we can only see the outside of it. So we'd have to actually get like an unboxing video of one of them to see what it looks like on the inside. So I'm going to give it a flip. Moving on to the bigger wallet though, this is the one that I'm like, ooh, this is kind of nice. Now, I do have to admit it's kind of stylized as quite a big wallet, quite a more traditionally feminine wallet. That doesn't prevent me from buying it, I'm still quite interested in it. But it does have a lot of Bape, like, logoings, like, thrown onto it that kind of makes it look a little bit awkward. I maybe would, I, I can't really say it without seeing like a mock-up image of it, but I might have preferred, like a, as I said, a Bape Camo MCM one instead of an MCM monogram one with Bape additional parts over the top of it. Either way, I would definitely use this wallet if I had it. If I had this wallet, man, I would definitely wear it. One of those big ones? Hell yeah. So it's going to be a drip for me on that. That is actually sick. I really, really like this piece. I don't know how much it's going to be. It's probably going to be super expensive, so I won't actually pick it up. But if I had it, hypothetically, I would use it. That thing is sick. I mean, modern day jackets and stuff, they're big enough for the phones of modern day society. Like this phone, this is massive. This wallet, this is probably that wallet's probably like a little bit bigger than this phone. So I've definitely got pockets that I can fit that wallet into. Now, now that we've covered the key change of the wallets, the uh, sandals, let's move on to the very interesting pieces here. We have, I'm very excited for this, we have the backpacks, which I'm, I'm loving. The backpacks either come in the full ape camo or the MCM monogram with the bathing ape stuff chucked over the top of it. Now, I must say, this is very hype beast like material right here with the Bape one with the Bape shark on it, especially. I, I could see it now. I'm going to be walking down the street. I'm going to see all the hype beast Asian outfits. 
all wearing this. Like, I can already see it now. Now, which one do I prefer? What am I going to give my ratings on? So, I don't know if I'd ever wear any of them, though. That's my main thing. I've converted. I used to be a huge backpack guy, but now I'm more of a duffel bag kind of guy. That's kind of my grind these days. So, I think the backpacks, we're going to have to leave it as a... Asian hype beast flip, you know, I, I could walk down to my local university Pull this out of the bag and I would see offers instantly So I'm gonna say that this is gonna be a flip on both the backpacks on either the camo or the uh, Monogram MCM one. I, I reckon they will sell like that. I'm telling you now To the big kahuna the piece that I am the most keen for once I saw it on a, like a video I was like, oh my god We have got the MCM Monogram Bathing Ape Duffel Bag. Woo! Look at this piece. This is a beautiful piece. This is the piece that I buy the keychains and clip it onto. We have got an MCM Duffel Bag with the MCM Monogramming with Bape Shark detailing on it as well. It is in that lovely MCM coloring, that leather coloring. Beautiful. This is probably my favorite piece out of the whole collection, or at least easily my favorite accessory. It's going to be a trip. What else can I say? It is an amazing piece. Look at this. It's going to resell for so much. It's going to be so expensive to start off with. I'm obviously not going to be able to buy it with my poor man wages over here. But it's amazing. Look at this thing. Oh my god. Definitely a drip. Definitely a drip on that one. And unfortunately, with that being our final drip of the day... Oh, actually... I did forget one item. I did forget one item. I was going to save it till last. So it's not actually the final drip. We have got the Bathing Ape Camo MCM Fanny Pack. I, I'm so sad. I didn't, I'm so sorry I didn't mention this one. We've got the Bathing Ape Camo MCM Fanny Pack with a nice little gold detailing with the Ape Camo, or oh, sorry, the Ape Head logo with MCM over the top of it. Very, very nice. Oh my god. Jesus. I'm not a huge fanny pack guy though, so I'm probably gonna leave this as a flip like the duffel bag, uh, sorry, like the backpacks. I reckon, it, again, if I held this up and said, who wants it, who wants to buy it, offers would come flying. The duffel bag is the big grind. The duffel bag, woo! I'm, I'm completely ignoring the fanny pack now, but that duffel bag is insane. So it's gonna be a flip on the uh, fanny pack, but that, uh, that duffel bag is a big drip. Oh my God. And now, Unfortunately, that is the last piece of the collection, guys. That is everything in the MCM BAPE collaboration. I had a look. It's Zuzu Town that it's dropping in. It's dropping on BAPE.com. Uh, I'll check to see if it's dropping in any BAPE retailers. I'll put all the details in the description section below for you, as well as the Hypebeast article that I'm looking at to look at all the pieces from this collection. Now, what's your uh, task for today? I want your opinion. I want your friends' opinions, your grandparents' opinions your parents' opinions in the comment section below. Let me know how you're feeling about any of the pieces from this collection. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you going to picking, be picking any of it up come release day, which is October 26th? Let me know in that comment section below. And that's it, guys. That's all we have to cover for the MCM Bape collaboration coming out on October 26th. Make sure you mark your calendars. I want everyone's thoughts and opinions. Comment section below. Follow all the socials in the description, you know how it goes fellas. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with all your mates, do everything you can, I want the word out, it's coming out, here's my thoughts and opinions, and yeah, because that's everything guys, I'll catch you later.